So hey Saints, it's Sister with a Testimony, and this is what we do with old boots in Texas. You take them and you make old boots into something beautiful. And um, if you think about it, Saints, when God takes an old sinner and they're worn out, and their soul has pretty much separated from the rest of the boot. Yeah, think about that. The soul actually separated from these boots. That's awesome. God can take an old, worn-out shoe with a separated soul and make something beautiful out of it. Isn't that awesome? A lot of tourists come to Texas and buy these. They're great bookends and door stops and hey the boot is still useful now it's artwork these boots have traveled many miles so saints I just want to talk to you today about where you're going where you're heading if you're following the narrow path or if you're just going along with the rest of the crowd I was praying this morning as I always do, I pray for the lost. I pray for anyone that the Lord just kind of drops in my spirit. I was uh, thinking about the law of divine direction and the laws that govern life. And I keep coming back to the very same thing. Lord, Adonai, Elohim, the Lord our God. Just contemplating my path, my way. The Lord keeps talking about that straight, narrow path, saints. I hope you're on it. And I was just communing with the Lord, and uh, I heard, Lord, you speak. I know that you speak. I'm listening. And while I was praying, it just dropped in my spirit, man. I was receiving. And I got a scripture reference of Psalm 37. If you read... Psalm 37, it's an eye-opener, saints. It's one of my faves. I said, Lord, I thank you for living in me. Thank you for becoming the Spirit on the pages written as words. You cannot separate the Logos, the written, from the Ruach, the Spirit. Thank you for living in me, Father. And uh, as I was contemplating my way, I just asked him again how to proceed. But it was more than just about for me to proceed, saints. It's also for you. He said, tell my people to get into me. Tell them to open the scriptures that I am and pour themselves into studying and remembering through this time of research who I am in them. Tell them all the answers to the questions that they are asking of me are written. They are written words on paper in covers of leather and of cardboard and paper. Tell them in order to overcome the darkness overtaking the entire world they will have to have hidden my word in their hearts. Tell them their enemy is coming for them and the only way they will overcome my enemy is to have hidden my words, the logos, in their hearts. And at the very moment that they call out to me, those words will come to life as spirit, ruach, when they speak them from their hearts. Tell my people tell them my child the gross darkness will cause fear to grip the hearts of all men upon the earth but the ones that have hidden me the word in their hearts shall overcome and endure unto the end tell them leslie ann tell them few shall escape the horrors that are coming Many that have given me lip service will be the first ones sacrificed. Only those that are tried and true shall remain. 
Tell them, Leslie. Time is already past. There's no time to get ready. Stay ready. Be ready. Stay ready to be tested, tried, and sacrificed. When they ask you of your hope, tell them only one thing. The good news. The gospel. You must conform to me through my written word as it becomes spirit and causes you to live and move. And because of me, living in you, having your being. Deep inside you, my children. There is a yearning to come home. All that find the narrow path and walk thereon. All that endure the sufferings, the trials, and the tribulations shall be rewarded personally. I am. Psalm 37, 18. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. Saints, this is a now word. It's not sugar-coated. Directly from the throne room. You can take it. You can make it your own. You can reject it. You can do whatever you want to. I'm just delivering the message. I pray that your way is the path of the Lord. I pray that it's the narrow path. I pray that you are one of the very few that will find it and walk it. It's time to get over the lip service, saints. If you say Jesus is Lord, then you're going to stop all that foolishness. And you're going to live holy, you're going to live righteous, and you're going to live on that narrow path. I pray that when the Lord comes, you'll be one of those that he finds faithful on this earth. This is Sister with a Testimony. Woo! Hallelujah! Glory to God. Let me keep wearing them boots out, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for taking a sinner and making it something beautiful. I thank you, Lord, for every one of us that will call upon the name of the Lord and put our trust and our faith in you having died on that cross after living a sinless life. Buried in the tomb for three days and three nights. Visiting hell. Preaching to the captives. Setting captivity. Woo! Free. Giving gifts unto men. Seen by over 500 brethren at one time. Walked on this earth for 40 days and 40 nights after the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost raised you from the dead, Lord. Thank you for living in me. Thank you. Come on, somebody. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you for that narrow path. Thank you for showing me the way. Thank you for being the truth and the life. Thank you for living in me. The Lord Jesus Christ said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask anything and it shall be done. I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. The Holy One, the One of Nazareth, the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Sister with a testimony, walking that narrow path. Come on, saints, let's go. God bless you. I love you.